Hello everyone, welcome back to Video Vloggers channel. Chroma key is a commonly used technique in video editing. It can be used in many creative ways beyond just removing the background. In this video, we have compiled a three popular creative use of Chroma key from this channel. Which one is your favorite? Let us know in the comment. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. First, let's create a text. We need to use a gap in the subtitles to make the transition. After entering the text, choose a proper font here. Once created, adjust the size and position of the font. Then, click here to take a screenshot. Next, let's import a clip to the video track. Then import a text image to the overlay track. Change the blend mode to darken. Then drag the playhead to the appropriate position behind. Use split to crop this clip. Change the blend mode to lighten for the second half of the clip. Next, let's import a green image into Vidipop Vlogger. Create a new overlay track. Then. Place a green screen between the text and the video. Adjust the size and position of the green screen image so that it covers the center of the letter O. Then click the button to take a screenshot. Put a second video clip on the video track. Then place a screenshot on the overlay track and cover the screen that follows. Finally, Use a chroma key to remove the green part. And use motion editor to make the image as if it passes through the letters. Like this. If you want to watch a more detailed tutorial on this effect, you can click the link in the upper right to check it out. First, we import a solid green image into the overlay track. Then, in the preview window, we adjust it to look like this. Then, we import a blue image and put it on the video track. Then, click here to take a screenshot. Import the image you just took. Delete all the clips from the timeline. Put the image into the overlay track. Fade to screen. Click on motion to go to the motion editor. Add a keyframe to the far left of the timeline. And adjust the window so that it tilts like this. Add a second keyframe in the proper place on the timeline. Drag the window so that it shifts parallel to the right. Finally, add a keyframe on the far right side of the timeline. Click Apply to return to the main interface. Next, we import a video clip and put it into the video track. Then, click on the clip on the overlay track. Use chroma key to remove the green part. Click on the clip on the video track to open the color editor. Choose a filter on the left side. Click Apply. Finally, adjust the image scale to about 1.3. Click Export to export the video. Then put the original footage into video track and put the video you just exported into overlay track and fade to screen. At last, use the chroma key to remove the blue part. A glass morphism effect is complete. You can click the link in the upper right to check the detailed tutorial on this one. First, let's import some video footage and green screen footage. Put a video into the video track. Put a green screen material into the overlay track. Use ripple edit to put them in the same duration. Then, let the clips fade to a screen. Go to the motion editor. 
create an effect that allows the green screen to be drawn from left to right. After we return to the main interface, let's export the video. Next, delete all the clips from the timeline and import a new clip to the video track. Then, we'll place the exported footage on the overlay track and use the chroma key to remove the green screen part. After that, let's create a new overlay track, putting another chroma key again. Use the same motion added as before to create a right to left effect. Export the video once we are done. Again, repeat the same process as before, and you will have this effect. If you want to know more about this effect, click on the link in the upper right corner to check the video out. Well, this is all of today's video, and if you want to know more about other and tricks or what has been going on with Vidipop Vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to your subscribe channel if you haven't yet, and we'll see you soon in the next video. Hope you enjoy! Bye-bye!